Hi, Father. How you doing? Hi. Hello. What's behind you? Uh, the World Trade Center. You can see at the back. So today is the uh, anniversary of the uh, application of the National Shrine as a shrine. Where? Way, way in the Philippines, way back in the year uh, 1999. No. Before the World Trade Center, 2011. So that was so how many years? Uh, before. So I am here. And uh, maybe the Lord is a message for for all of us so, to yeah. spread the devotion of divine mercy, not Amen. only in the Philippines, but also to spread the devotion of divine mercy worldwide. Uh, because yes. we speak of the World Trade Center, and the world needs is the the whole the world. So I I would like to invite you to join me to promote the devotion of divine mercy. Yes, uh, when I was called at Divine Mercy, I remember that particular date. It was April 5, 1991. It's the Peace of uh, Saint uh, Vincent Ferrer. And I went to this uh, chapel and uh, I waited for the people to come. The one care caretaker uh, told me that they were planning to build a parish church. And I told them they planned that the chapel would become the chapel and I said can you bring me the location plan or the land title and when I saw it was small I said this is not the best place to build the church the man said where is the best place uh, he, there was a hill in that place and I said that is the best place to build the church and then at that time we were uh, contemplating what would be the patron and one suggested that it would be St. Rose of Lima because the barrio is called Santa Rosa de Lima and then I said that would not be fitting because uh, if you want to uh, invite other barrios to join you, you must put different patrons. And then he said, why not? Today is the piece of St. Vincent Ferrer. Make it uh, St. Vincent Ferrer. And I said, you know what? My name is Vincent. People may be thinking I'm building my own church. So uh, at that time, it was first Friday. I had this mass at the big banks in Makati and I said let's think about it later on metro as I was taking the metro it just cropped up in my mind the image of divine mercy and I said if the people would come I will tell them divine mercy the following day around 7 in the morning April 6 1991 they came uh, I told them the name would be divine mercy and I said can you ask the who is the owner of that lot that I pointed by sundown I got the name her name is uh, Annie Garcia and during the mass I offered uh, that lot I pointed so I said that evening Lord take that lot and I offer it to be the church of divine mercy and that evening I was contemplating when is the peace of mercy because in 1991 it was not yet recognized so I slept with that question in my mind. Around 5 in the morning, oh, my pastor was knocking at my door. He was so surprised and I opened it and he said to me, We will have a change of schedule. I will be going to the barrio. You say mass at the main church. Uh, later on, I said to myself, Seldom do I say mass at the main church, so I was excited. And then of course, still in my mind was the, when is the peace of divine mercy? And then at that day, April 7, uh, 1991, I started the Mass with the procession. And then as I kissed the altar, the altar boy came with a small piece of paper. And the altar boy said, this is the intention for the day. And when I read it, I was so surprised. And uh, it was written, today is the peace of divine mercy. So when I saw it, I had goosebumps. And I said, I would like to go to the make a lot and pray at 3 o'clock so what I did was uh, in the afternoon I have two reasons not to go first I don't have a vehicle to go to that place second second I know I have a hectic schedule usually in my parish of St. Michael you usually have a funeral mass but I was so surprised after lunch the secretary told me that there will be no funeral so I recognize the, 
that maybe the Lord is asking me. So exactly at 3 o'clock, I went to the church and pray the rosary. I don't know the chapel at that time. And I noticed the image of Divine Mercy. There was a frame. It was put at the side as if the frame was looking for a place. And then I finished the rosary. I went out. And with my surprise, there was a vehicle waiting for me. This guy was the one who fetched me uh, for the 5 o'clock mass. And he came so early. And I said, why are you so early? And then he said to me, I had nothing to do, Father. And then I knew it was the Lord asking me to go. So I told him, maybe we go to that place and we take some snack. We went there. Uh, I was looking at the vacant lot. And it was my first piece of mercy in 1991. And I remember my prayer was, this, if you want me to build your church, there is only one thing I ask of you. And I ask a simple prayer. Give me a house and I start the whole thing. After finishing my prayer, I started to go to the, my mass at 5 o'clock. But as I, as I move, riding in the vehicle, there is this uh, catechist uh, cleaning up the yard. And when she noticed me, uh, she waved and I said, where are you going? I said, I would have a mass. And she said, uh, come down, Father, let's talk. I went down, and as I went down, uh, and then I look at her house and I noticed this small nipa hat at the back of their house. And I said, by the way, who lives there? And then with my surprise, the lady said to me, nobody lives there, father. If you want to stay there, you could stay there, but there's no toilet. The house, the house uh, is a nipa hat. It needs to be repaired. And, and when I saw the whole thing, truly it needs to be repaired. But what happened is nine months later, I was blessing that house. On the tenth month, I started to live there. One year later, I was able to buy the first 1,000 square meter. It was the second piece of mercy. And then it started. I waited for another uh, 10 years, uh, 19, 20, uh, 2011, when the church of 20. 22 when the church was declared as a national shrine that's the how the calling of divine mercy started in me and what is today father today is uh, the anniversary of the application of the divine mercy as a national shrine today is july 10 2022 23 years ago i applied for the national sign and 23 years ago my parents celebrated their 50th wedding at the church I built. They were the first couple to be blessed in the church. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Yeso Upam Tube. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And may God continue to bless your family. With His mercy, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.